Hi Fudgies, and welcome to a special mystery subscriber, Bunches of Lunches. Before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Our first lunch idea was sent in by Annika, who is nine years old and is from Utah. Now you can probably already see she chose a donut for her treat, but before I show you what flavor she picked, I'm gonna get started on her main dish. For this, I'm going to combine two kid favorites, macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. And while I do that, I wanted to share a little bit more about Annika. I'm super excited to be dedicating this lunch to her today. Now, I actually got to know Annika and her mom because they were the winners of a giveaway I did back at Christmas time. And while talking to them, I got to learn more about Annika's condition. This all started back in 2017 when Annika was experiencing a terrible stomach ache. It was then that they discovered that Annika's lower intestine was twisted and blown blocked by a massive baseball-sized cyst. Since then, she's had several surgeries and lost half of her lower intestine. Annika's mom told me she's a huge fan of Bunches of Lunches and that she never misses an episode. So I'm super excited to be making this lunch for her today and I hope that it puts a smile on her face. So now that I have the mac and cheese and hot dogs ready, I'm gonna get that into the thermos and move on to the fruit. For this, Annika chose a combination of strawberries and watermelon, and I've arranged them on a cute little pick in the shape of a bow. So cute and so tasty. Next, I'm gonna throw in some cucumbers, and I've used my teeny tiny heart cutter to cut out the center of the cucumbers. This is really an easy thing to do, but it makes them look so cute. And just like my kids, Annika loves to have ranch with her cucumbers, so I'm definitely gonna put that in there. To go along with this, Annika also picked out some nachos. So I'm using these multicolored tortilla chips, and to this I've just added and melted a little bit of cheese. And now for the special donut treat. I went with the traditional glazed donut. Out of all the donuts that Krispy Kreme makes, I definitely think that these are the best, and I'm kind of an expert on this because I used to work for Krispy Kreme. And then last but not least, for her drink today, Annika chose an Honest Kids juice pouch, and this is in the super fruit punch flavor. And there you have it, there's Annika's special lunch today. I hope she loves it. My favorite was a donut. My favorite was the mac and cheese with hot dogs. My favorite part was the donut too. Our next lunch idea was sent in by Sarah, who is 28 years old and is from Ohio. And for this lunch, I'm gonna get started on the main dish first, which is going to be some boneless chicken wings. I went with the applewood barbecue flavor, and because my kids are actually gonna eat this, I made sure to get the ones that are not too spicy. Now, I already know that my kids aren't huge fans of chicken wings that have bones, but I think that they'll like these ones. It's basically just like a flavorful chicken nugget. The next thing on Sarah's list is a Greek yogurt smoothie. My kids definitely love these, but when I was at the store, this was the only flavor available. This is the strawberry banana one. Now moving on to the vegetables. Sarah chose a combination of carrots and radishes, and I love that she also suggested to cut the carrots into coins. I'm always looking for fun and interesting ways to cut fruits and vegetables for these lunches, and I love this idea. Next, I'm gonna cut up just a few radishes. I'm not quite sure if my kids will like these, but I think they're really good. Let me know in the comments down below if you like to eat radishes. So I'll go ahead and put those in there. They just fit perfectly. And then to go along with that, Sarah also suggested some ranch. She definitely knows that we like ranch in this house. So I'll just put some in the separate container and put it right in the box. The next thing on Sarah's list is pretzel bites with cheese. Now, I had a hard time finding the pretzel bites that I really wanted at the store, so I went with these instead. This is basically a square-shaped pretzel bite with cream cheese, and this is the jalapeno cream cheese, so it's a little bit spicy. Not sure if my kids will like it, but I know that I'll eat it if they won't. Next up, I'm going to add the special treat today, which is kind of more of a healthier snack, although my kids do love these. These are the fig bars, but today I'm just adding the plain fig flavor. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in Sarah's drink choice, which is a Roaring Waters Capri Sun. And I just went with the tropical flavor because that sounded really good. And there you have it, there is Sarah's lunch today. Okay guys, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the chicken. My favorite part was the smoothie. My favorite part 
was the big ball. Up next, I have a lunch idea sent in by Maddie. She's 11 years old and is from Maryland. And for this lunch, I'm actually gonna start by making the treat first. I'm gonna make something really fun with these Cocoa Krispies that Maddie suggested. I'm gonna start by measuring out six cups of these Cocoa Krispies right into there. These smell so good and chocolatey. Then in a separate pot, I'm going to add some butter and a whole bag of mini marshmallows. Once the butter and the marshmallows are completely melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cereal and mix it up. So basically, these are Rice Krispie treats, but instead of regular Rice Krispie cereal, I'm using the Cocoa Krispies. Let me know in the poll right here if you've ever tried this before. I've actually tried it with Fruity Pebbles too, and it was really good, but it was really sweet. So I'm just gonna press this out and wait for it to harden up. While that happens, I'm gonna prepare some cucumber. I really like to use my crinkle cutter for this. I get asked all the time about this crinkle cutter and it's actually a Pampered Chef product. Next, I'm gonna prepare the fruit. For today, Maddie suggested a fruit salad. I love making fruit salads. This fruit salad is going to have kiwi, strawberry, and mango. Next, I'm moving on to the main course, which is kind of like a homemade Lunchable. For this, I'm using Ritz crackers, some turkey pepperoni, which I've added to a cute little unicorn pick, and some cheese. Now this is actually Colby Jack cheese, and to make it extra cute, I've cut them into the shape of a flower. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cucumbers in there, and of course some ranch to dip them in. Can you guys tell we go through a lot of ranch at this house? I have a really good recipe for ranch. If you'd like to try to make your own, I will link it down below. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna throw in a handful of these pretzel sticks. And to go along with the pretzels, I'm also gonna add this little cup of peanut butter. I love the combination of peanut butter and pretzels, and so does Maddie. This is looking like a super yummy lunch. Of course, I also have the fruit salad to add in there, and here's that cocoa crispy treat. They're finally ready. And last but not least, we have the drink today. This is just an honest kid's juice pouch. Now Maddie actually suggested the berry lemonade flavor, but I couldn't find that anywhere, so I'm just adding the super fruit one instead. I think it'll be just as good. And there you have it, there's Maddie's lunch today. My favorite part was the peanut butter and the pretzels. My favorite was the Cocoa Krispie treat. My favorite was the cheese. Our next lunch idea was sent in by Caitlin. She's 12 years old and is from Estonia. For this lunch, I'm gonna start with the main course first. For this recipe, I'm using some ground beef, and I'm also gonna be using a box of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is very popular this week. I'm gonna start off this recipe by browning up my meat. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of powdered garlic, followed by a teaspoon of onion powder, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix that all up and then add my mac and cheese. I went ahead and prepared this according to the directions on the box. So you know a little bit of butter, a little bit of milk, the cheese packet, all that stuff's in there. And then all I have to do is combine the seasoned beef with the mac and cheese. There are so many different variations of this dish that you can do, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more cheese on top and mix that in. And then while it's still nice and hot, I'm gonna add it to my thermoses. So this is kind of like a beefy macaroni. And now it's time to fill the lunch boxes. For her fruit today, Caitlin chose oranges. So I went ahead and just cut them into little orange smiles. I know Miss Lily loves orange smiles. So I'm gonna fit as many as I can in there. Next, I'm throwing in some sweet mini peppers. I went ahead and cut these in half and removed all the seeds so they're ready to go. And to go along with the peppers, Caitlin also suggested some ranch. Now let me know in the comments down below, you guys. I'm pretty sure that every lunch in this video included ranch. Let me know if that's true. Now to go along with this, I'm also throwing in some Pringles. And today, Caitlin chose the barbecue flavor. Did you guys know that in different areas of the world, you can find different flavors of Pringles? It's pretty crazy. Recently, I tried a bunch of Pringles from Japan, and they definitely had some interesting flavors you can't get here in the US. I really like the curry-flavored ones. Those were the best. But you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite flavor of Pringles is. Next up, I'm going to add Caitlin's treat for the day, and she chose white chocolate-covered pretzels. 
personally, we love chocolate covered pretzels at this house, and I especially love the kind they sell around Christmas time, where it's white chocolate with candy cane pieces. Those are so good. So I'm just gonna add a few of these pretzels in this container. And then last but not least, for the drink today, Caitlin chose lemonade. And there you have it. I give this lunch two thumbs up. My favorite was the white chocolate pretzels. For my favorite part, I like the Pringles. My favorite was the orange one smile. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.